This is looking real good right now. Oh! All right, and here we have the Mario Party 2 single player mode, the minigame coaster. Now, the minigame coaster is a lot more difficult, especially because, well, I'm going to be playing on hard mode. There's nine worlds, and you can only play hard mode if you've done normal first. All right, to world one, first minigame is bumper balls. Now, given that I never win this one when I play with the boys, this is gonna be tricky because this one, you have to win. Like, you can't just stay alive. No, you must be the last man standing. And that could be tricky with a game like Bumper Balls. Unless... Mm! Got him. Now we have Roll Call. And because I'm playing on hard mode, it gives you, like, the hardest versions of each minigame. If there's different versions. 21? Seems a little much. Um, wait. Am I really gonna fumble the second minigame? I actually don't know if it's 21. Oh! <laughs> oh man, these computers are actually doing it quite quickly. It's all about being as optimal as possible in this game like this. Okay, I think I'm in the clear though. You really just gotta short up with this one. Waste as least time as possible. Also, the live system is trickier in this one because you don't get free lives for winning. You only get lives for getting 100 coins in total. All right, I just got enough fumble on this one. Staying really focused on this one because I have a big streak. That's why I don't want to lose it. Got him. Oh man. Yeah, that one's considered the hardest track, but I find that one to be the easiest because there's a lot of straight paths. You can just go max speed on a lot of times. But with that one done, we're done world one now. Cake Factory is one of those where if you have a CPU, it's actually better because they align perfectly with you like this. I think they messed up. DKY. I was about to say, bro, don't throw for me. Is this how Vernius felt when he was saying how Nick kept throwing minigames? This one basically has the exact same concept as the tile driver one. You want a short hop and get a sort of rhythm like this. Once you do, you can destroy this really quickly. Oh my god, I'm so bad. Nice. We're in the second phase already. Okay. Couldn't work. Oh, there we go. Easy peasy. Well, as long as I'm constantly ahead, well, can't really lose this one. I might use that balloon face as a thumbnail. <laughs> It just makes the funniest faces, dude. This is another one where it's like, it's better to have a CPU because like, they'll follow your lead 100%. So you can go however you want. There we go. All right, as a Canadian, I can't fail this. Wait, no, please. <laughs> okay, let's go. Uh, oh, bro, Mario just gave that one to me for free. No, 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 no. Come on, man. Oh. Bro, Mario's throwing. What the? F <laughs> All right, we're all three and I haven't dropped a game yet. This is a good result. Okay, I might get gate kept by this one because yeah, if I just don't mash, if I just can't outmash them, I just insta lose. There's nothing I can really do, right? Okay, good. Nice. Okay. Wario's placed literally at the farthest point, bro. Nah, 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 nah. I'm taking no chances. I'm going for all the time. Oh my god. At least I didn't drop any of them, so... That means when I get to Mecha Marathon, I should be able to do it in one shot as well. Okay, now I'm at the point where every time I win, I get a new life, which is huge. Ah, oh, fuck me, bro. Dude, if I can't get this now, then my streak ends. Oh god. Just focus one guy. You know what? I'm gonna focus Mario. I'm literally just gonna follow him around. Oh, okay. Nice! Okay. If I can win this one, it'll be huge. Nice! Okay! <laughs> oh, we maintain the streak, baby! <laughs> nice. Bro! That tickled him! Okay. No! I killed Toad! Oh god, why? Koopa Kid, please! Koopa Kid! Oh! <laughs> oh, this is an ass position for me. What is this? Okay, I got two of them at least. Oh, baby, and extra pins? We'll take it. We're out of world three, entering world four. No games dropped either. This is huge. All right, this one's all about the last rotation. The first four should be easy, but it's all about the last one. Yeah, you can speedrun that one. Speedrun this one. Oh, I'm so bad. Okay, and I'm just gonna mash A. Usually when you mash, it works. Like that. <laughs> Sometimes mashing for the last one is the play. This is one of those mini games I feel like I'm never truly comfortable doing. But it's like, it's so easy to mess this one up. That's why, like there. Oh god. Oh, please, 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 please. I got it, right? I actually don't know. Oh, <laughs> dude, if I saw a giant miss, my heart would have broken in half. All right, this one's pretty dumb because technically speaking, whoever jumps first just kind of wins. So theoretically, I should lose this one, but I'm not. Okay, now I'm really not. Okay, now I'm really, really not. <laughs> 
Yeah, like, theoretically speaking, whoever just jumps first wins. I find this one, it's like, it's completely inverted the controls. Like, I'm gonna spawn top right. So I'm gonna hold upright to see if I move forward towards the trouble cleft. And I don't, and oh wait, my control is really bad, this one. Dude, I couldn't- oh my fucking goodness, dude. And of course there was the Yoshi CPU that ruined me, dude. The burn nation full of rats. Let me try again, like... Okay, see, that one, it was like the easiest game ever. Bro, we was still in iframes? Bro, Lob Shot is awful. Dude, Lob Shot is broken. Alright, we're pretty much halfway done, even though the later half is. That's where it gets kind of ruthless. Oh wow, this one, you actually need 15 to win. On normal, you only need 10. <laughs> if I didn't get that, we would have lost. Oh, that's a lot of money. Surely I can outmatch the CPU, right? Really, it's dead even. So as long as I maintain being in front, I should be just be fine, though. Dude, I can't see. I literally can't see, dude. Yeah, the thing about CPUs for this one, though, they never go left. So you know what? Screw it. I'm just gonna go right. <laughs> even though left is better because of the speed boost, the CPU never turns with you left. So I'm not gonna move against them. Oh, uh, this is gonna be annoying with the CPU, dude. Because I don't know how hard I need to mash. Okay, let's see if my casual mashing is enough. Okay, it seems to be. I can maintain this then. Alright, nice to know my casual mashing is just good enough. Okay, nice. We didn't get hit by that. Okay, gotta hit this double rainbow though. Okay, nice. They missed one. This is looking real good right now. Oh! Alright, we're fine. <laughs> A minor setback. Torpedo targets. But unfortunately, I'm not the one steering. I have to put all my faith in the monkey. Wait, lower. Lower? Lower? Nice. Bro! Why are they shooting me, dude? What? <laughs> Leave us alone. Higher. Higher. Thank goodness, I had to go for it. Come on, higher, higher, higher. Just a little bit higher. Can we get much higher? Literally. Okay. <laughs> I think we're good now. This one's just Mario Bandstand, but in a 2v2 format. And the music is actually synced up properly. Not perfectly, but way better than the first one. DK. Okay, no, they messed up way more. Bro, Mario's actually throwing. <laughs> Alright, surely we've won, right? I mean, we played so much better. <laughs> okay. I was a little scared there, not gonna lie. Oh, really? I missed that bag? I need 15 myself to win this. Thankfully, this version, you get a lot more money, so... 15 should be rather doable. Bro! Oh my god, I just need three coins, dude. I was about to say, just one coin, man. Alright, 17. We'll take it. I love how the coaster waddles back and forth to the music. Oh, this one you have to run away. Usually in the 1v3s, you're always the one. Okay, I don't know if this is like Bash and Cash where it's like... <laughs> he dragged her with him. What the hell? She's just kind of swinging at air right now. I don't know what she's doing. Okay, bro. The, the computers are kind of throwing. All right, well, this one, if you just keep spamming jump, you should just be fine, to be honest. The only problem is like you over jump and then just kill yourself that way. But... Just jumping in general like this is, like, the optimal play, really. There we go. Okay, if I could do Clefairy Says, I could do this one. Up, down, down, B, right. There we go. Wait. Wait a minute. All right, I gotta help my boy out. I gotta deliver the fish to the TC Nation. <laughs> Mario's actually throwing, bro. Okay, body block. <laughs> there we go. I delivered the fish to the TC Nation. <laughs> this is such a good mini game. Why is it not in Superstars? Looking with the Switch Joy-Con is not easy. Oh my god, I just realized, yeah. Trying to do that mini game with a Joy-Con? <laughs> good luck with that, man. All right, if you do normal, that would be the end of the normal course. But we're doing hard. World 7, let's go. Oh, no. Yeah, this is one, right? Where um, if the CPU just wants you to die, there's nothing you can really do. Okay, I think I've actually do one, I'm fine. I know there's a strat on how to survive for the first part, but uh, it has to just kind of line up for you as well as a thing. No, wait, Mario gets a two here, I think, because he wants the coin. Yeah, I think CPUs always want the coin. Wait, that means she gets a two here. And it, oh my God. <laughs> Yeah, the CPUs just kind of aim for the coins, but, uh... Oh, B, me? Me, B. Oh, the placement is just different. Okay, wait, this actually be, might be better in my favor, then. Crap! No, Wario can't lose anymore, damn it. Wait, this is so stupid. Okay, wait, if I do two, right? I swear to God, they both do one. Oh! <laughs> Mario's actually throwing! Okay. If Mario does two, I'm fine. Yo, Mario's actually... Wait, no, I'm not. The fuck am I thinking? She needs to do a one. Nope. Yo, yo Mario, do a one for me, man. I got you, homie. <laughs> oh 
<laughs> what? Bro. <laughs> Maybe he throw again. Maybe he's greedy for the one coin. Damn it, dude. Two hours later. Oh, he's even giving me the coin. How generous. The Vernation donation. Yeah, I think this is the mini game that I was just stuck on when I was younger. Because <laughs> it's just like, well, how am I supposed to improve? Right? I was just stuck on this and then I just quit. But now things are different. Okay. I felt really good about that one. So if I fail this, video's over. <laughs> Because there's nothing more I could do, right? What? Bro, Mario's at- What? Dude, I swear these guys would go in the 30s easily. There's no way they died in the mid-20s. This one- Okay, this one's weird because even if it looks like you're ahead or behind, you must always still try because, like, the final stretch visually doesn't really match up. See, like that one, Wario was ahead of me, but I still won. <laughs> it just makes no sense visually. I am the storm that is over. I don't know why Bernie sang that when he was climbing the pole, bro. I am the storm that is... Oh, God. Of course, of course, this is rising nobody. You can see that coming. Jump it 50 times. Oh, wow, 50. I mean, my party one was 40, but this one, damn. Well, at least I don't spawn on the outer end, so visually and psychologically, it's easier for me. Well... Nothing much to say about this one, except I just gotta maintain focus. The thing about this one, I feel in general, is that 95% of the time people die, it's because they jump, like, preemptively. They panic jump too early. It's never because they jump too late. It's kind of like teetering tower, so everyone always fails because they underjump. Oh my god. What? I pressed A! What? Oh my fucking goodness, bro. Dude, them dying is actually distracting. This one's kind of similar to the first one, where there's a kind of a rubber band for the first part. But the only tactic is jumping uphill, which saves a lot of time. Okay, that, sh that, should, that should have been it, right? I wasn't really looking on my screen. Nice. Platform Peril. This is actually one of my favorite ones. I wish this wasn't Superstars, man. This is such a classic one, that's why. When you think of Mario Party, I think of this one. Why am I going off to the side? What? Oh, it's because N64 controllers have gates, right? So you can easily go top right if you want to. But this one, you can't. Well, as long as I get the W, that's all that matters. All right. This is the last world. World 8. Deep Sea Salvage. This is a pretty fun coin mini game. When it comes to coin mini games, I actually like this one. I need 15 to win those, so... Hello? Can I get a bag? Thank you. <gasps> Double bag. Yeah, see, this is like a better version of Hammer Drop because he throws more money, right? But one at a time for Hammer Drop in the first game is awful. This one is harder. However, there's a Lakitsu at the top of the screen who serves as a timer. You're supposed to look at him because if he's traveling really slow, then do you know he's gonna... The Shy Guy's gonna juke you, right? Like that one, he traveled at medium speed. If he travels really fast, and he puts up one flag, then you know he's not gonna juke you. See right there, the Lakitu was traveling really slow? That's how I knew. Bro, how did he know? D twice What? Three times, he guessed! Oh, uh, bro! Finally, bro! He got like four times in a row by pure luck. All right, I mentioned how there's a strap for this in Superstars, how the bubble only pops when it reaches maximum size. And I went back to this game and I realized it's the same. It's the exact same thing. I'm fucking bad. I don't know how I'm alive, but I'm, I'll take it. I'm gonna lose. I'm gonna- oh my god, bro! Oh, I'm playing too safe, I think. No way that worked. What? I hit last second! We'll take it! Yeah, even though in Superstars they have mushroom mix-up, it's technically based on this version where when the platforms sink, they stay under the lava for a few seconds and then rise back up. Wow. Bro, Mario's actually throwing. No! What? Ah, oh, it's always the Vern Nation! Bro, if they just keep jumping, you can't punch them. What am I supposed to do then? Nice. Oh my god, that was actually perfect. Okay, this is the final mini game, And it's... Bombs Away. How fitting. I wish they had this version in Superstars, which is a lot more chaotic. Bro, what happened to Wario? He just fell off. <laughs> Please, get out of my way! Woo! Woo! Oh my god. And here we have the secret world nine. All right, I've completed minigame coaster on hard. However, it seems, yeah, I have to do it twice. Could you please start again from world one? Now, the thing about this one is it doesn't matter which one you say. 
because actually the toads are fake. Drat, foiled again. There's, there's nothing to do, but... Yep, there's the baby Bowser bunch. In order to truly beat this, we have to beat them in Shell Shocked. They're not too difficult. You do get infinite tries like the first one, but then again, it's 3v1. I'm gonna fucking die immediately, aren't I? Oh my god, bro! We won, we won. You're no good. We're even trying. Bro. Okay. Oh my god, why? There we go. I was worried about the third one. <laughs> the third one through, dude. And with that, I have completed the hard course. <sighs> it's a lot more trickier than the first one. Your prize is getting the battle, the battle mini games. You can play them however you want now. I also get tons of money so I can purchase all of them. After completing all of this, there's actually two bonus mini games you get. One of them being a 1v3 called Rainbow Run. This one is pretty much the exact same thing as Tightrope Treachery from the first Mario Party. Except, well, now you're on a rainbow. The second secret minigame is actually Dungeon Dash. This is the one that returned in Superstars, actually. But it's funny to think how this is a secret one in Mario Party 2. Not much to say about this one, it pretty much functions very similarly to Dungeon Dash. Or rather, Desert Dash from Mario Party 1. And that concludes the single player mode for Mario Party 2. It's a lot more challenging in the first game, and playing through this, it honestly just makes me really wish that there was some form of single player mode for Superstars. But regardless, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one.